but we're gonna check in here with Killer Instinct as well, see what Ken is getting up to, and then uh, give you folks a little taste of this exciting new Xbox One title. Ken, how's it going here? Going well. I'm, I'm teaching people, sort of. I teaching them. I heard a skull crunching. That's your teaching method. Yeah, like that. So you just, you know, here, do this, and then they get knocked over. She's doing pretty well though. She learned her one combo pretty quick. Oh, bring, that, bring that one combo. Oh, sorry. So from a teaching perspective, it seems that, you know, Killer Instinct is a game that's uh, you can you know. Earlier we were talking to you, you were dropping a lot of uh, sort of FGC terms. But uh, is it, you know, also pretty accessible to folks who, you know, maybe aren't down with linking and all that business? Yeah, I mean, the goal in the original KI was to try and make a game where someone that, you have to understand the basics of the fighting game. But once you do, you can start doing combos that are like such without, you know, while you're talking on a microphone. Uh, so you basically, the, the combos are broken into three simple parts. You start a combo opener. You add with uh, auto doubles or linkers, and then you do a combo finisher to cash in your damage. And once you understand that, and then you start learning the moves from the different characters, it doesn't take long to start doing combos and feeling like you're proficient. Then you add to that the whole combo breaker game, and you add the counters and the EX, the shadow moves. And we hope what we've built is a game that is easy to pick up, but is super deep once you've played for a while. Well, the best way to show that is probably ask Torin and Campbell. Where's, where's Campbell? All right, we'll get get those guys up here and get a match going. How did that match go for you? Was that your first Killer Instinct uh, go? Um, since the arcade, yeah. So that's a long time away. And that was your skull I heard crunching before, right? Neck, I think it just got snapped in half. Would you enjoy yourself? Yeah, it's fun. I mean, I've loved Killer Instinct since the arcade. I just haven't played it in a while. And my boyfriend, he thinks he's a champion, but. Has he been up here to play yet? All right, naturally. All right, well, thank you for playing. Torin, come on up here. Uh, and uh, Ken, yeah, Ken, give us a little rundown here what these guys are going to get up to. So uh, Torn and Campbell have obviously played a bunch. Torn is the uh, producer for the game. Uh, Campbell Tran, for those who don't know, Evo guy, been playing for, I don't know, long time. Uh, pretty clearly the best player on Killer Instinct uh, at Microsoft and stands up quite nicely to Filthy Rich. Hi, Filthy. We're hoping to get to see them fight together sometime soon. Um, so they can show the, the deeper stuff. Why don't you show the way a counter breaker works, the way a, um, yeah, so basically, again, once you understand how to do basic combos, yeah, do a couple breakers first. The, the trick is you do an opener, then you do an auto double. Auto double is just any of the six buttons now. It was much more strict for KI1 and 2. Yeah, I'm on the outside six. Sorry, Campbell, I'm an old outside six button guy. So Campbell's going to put his buttons to where he actually likes them. Yeah. Okay, so once you do an opener, then any of the six moves will work as an auto-double, like so. But once you know what auto-double he's doing, in that case, medium, then Torin only has to hit two medium punches now, and he'll get a combo breaker. But to add some depth to it, if, if Campbell thinks that Torin's going to know that there's an auto-double, go. Bam, you can do a counter to the combo breaker, which will then open the combo against the guy who was actually already getting beat up. Like so. Now the trick is, it becomes a mind game. Is the guy gonna try and do a combo breaker here? If he doesn't, and Campbell, for example, tries to do a counter break, or Torn tried again, go ahead and do a combo breaker, or sorry. Yeah, you start the combo and then just try and counter with Torn doing nothing. So he basically dropped the combo. That was Jing. That was Campbell trying to parry his counter breaker. So it adds a bunch yep. of depth that, uh, to the combo breaker system, sort of a Yomi-like system, into something that used to be, I'm getting my butt kicked and maybe I can combo break. So now you add to that, do the, uh, the shadow counter. So shadow counter is a move where you spend the shadow meters on the bottom. It's kind of like EX. You just spend his meter now. So the idea is, if someone's got a bunch of meter and they're trying to hit you with a chip damage multi-hit opener, at the right time, you can do a counter. So you're basically parrying their opener. They're building meter now, so go ahead and do it again. That was the move. But you need to do it, as always, demoing is so much harder than just doing. You should just fight, fight, and I bet we will see, there's one right there. So he basically countered, um, Torn came in with pressure, 
uh, Camel did the counter move on it, which spends an EX meter. It basically parries any multi-hit move that comes in. But that parry, again, you need to have another hit coming uh, after it, either buffered or like a five-hit EX-like move. Because uh, it's got to be within 20 frames that you go hit again before you get countered. You guys are definitely going deep on the fighting game, on fighting mechanics here. It's, uh, it, the mind game thing is what really fascinates me and seeing these guys go at it over here, Gutex and KDZ and F Champ. Uh, it's, are you hoping to get this out on the competitive circuit as well? Yeah, absolutely. Again, you get welcomed into that circuit, so we'll, we look forward to people liking the game enough so that the FTC would welcome us into their, you know, into their hearts. Uh, I, I believe all fighting games, actually, there's the first thing, which is you learn all the special moves. And the reality is just being able to do a Dragon Punch doesn't mean you win a street fight. And then there's, whether it's zoning type gameplay, pixel based distances, lots of things like hit confirms, blah blah blah. Lots of techniques that get used to move from the, oh gee I just know how to do all the special moves, into the real mind game that what all fighting games are really about. Can I get an opener so that I can then execute some damage? All fighting games are al uh, alike in that way. And We've tried to add some complexity to, um, again, I'm a huge fan of all fighting games. I've been playing SNK since the day the Neo Geo shipped. I have Neo Geo, I have little tiny Neo Geo. Literally, I've played every fighting game made in the last 25 plus years. I've been lucky enough to be, you know, kind of old in the industry for a while. I was in Japan when Street Fighter 2 debuted in an arcade show. I was in Vegas when Street Fighter 2 debuted in an arcade show. I used to play in Sunnyvale Golfland at least a couple times a week, where Capcom used to test their arcade games. I've been doing it for a long, long time. And one of the things that, that helped drive the idea of KI was, when I'm getting my butt kicked, can I please do something? In other words, when somebody's comboing you, is there a game beyond just taking damage? That's where combo breakers came from. And again, what we've tried to do with this version of KI is let's add more depth into the, once you're being comboed, what can you do? And it works really well. We have, the combo breakers are way easier to do now. So when you're playing against someone that knows what they're doing, you see a lot of combo breakers until they learn how to counter. And then it becomes a mind game. So it's like, I'm, I'm pretty proud of what uh, Double Helix and the guys uh, uh, under me back in the studio uh, are doing with the game. My role is creative director over most of the stuff uh, uh, for Xbox. But obviously I was designer on KI1, helped design KI2. So my job today is to play against Adam and these guys every day and gripe about things that feel cheap. Sounds like a pretty good gig, Ken. Thank you guys so much for bringing Killer Instinct by.